Ten Benzel. Welcome back to my channel. This is my Leap Code problem set that I worked on when I was away, so I didn't record it. However, we're going through the solutions, and today's problem that has a solution is problem number 28, find the index of the first occurrence in a string. Now, before we jump into this, I actually want to jump into the submission of this because I got a 90 on runtime for this. Um, 91, sorry, I misspoke. But I did get memory of just 47, so just improving this a little bit would bring me over that halfway point, which I would love to revisit eventually. However, in the meantime, I'm pretty okay with the solution. So let us jump into this question um, for number 28. And again, this solution is in Python if you were not aware. So given two strings, needle and haystack, return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack, or negative 1, if needle is not part of the haystack. So they give you these examples here, and then they give you these constraints. Um, and the examples actually are what made it so I could actually write this code, because I was like, needle and haystack? Needle, what does that even mean? This helped. So um, if you're doing this problem and you're kind of curious, this is actually heaven sent. So let's jump into the solution for this. So this is what comes as the default on the page. And this is where we are going to be starting. So I started this by on, on line eight by checking to see if the needle is an empty string. And then if the needle is empty um, and it's assumed that the substring to be found is also empty, in this case, the function immediately returns zero to indicate that the empty needle is found at the beginning of the haystack. So we go into this loop here of this for i in range len haystack minus len needle plus one. This line starts that loop that iterates over the possible starting indices of the haystack where the needle could be located. So the loop range basically just ensures that the substring needle can fit entirely within the remaining codes of the haystack. Um, so we then go into if haystack i, i plus len needle equal equal needle. This line just checks whether the substring of haystack um, starting at index i and having the same length as needle is equal to the needle string. So this is essentially done um, by determining if the substring at the current position matches needle. And then we go down here and return i so that if a match is found on the previous line, this line will return that index i, um, indicating the starting position, <clears throat> excuse me, of that first occurrence um, of the needle in the haystack, if that makes sense. Um, and then lastly, we return negative one. So if the loop finishes without finding any matches, this line is reached and the function returns negative one, which this value just essentially indicates that the needle is not present in the haystack. So that is how I approach the logic to this. Again, the memory of this could have been a little bit better, but I will improve that at a later date. But overall, I'm like really impressed with like the runtime and uh, and everything else. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm leaving this solution in my GitHub repo, uh, my lead code solutions. I am leaving that repo link in the video description down below. You guys are more than welcome to fork and clone, make it better, make it worse, have some fun, learn something new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.